what is going on guys? Today we're going to do a full tour of Water Country USA. This is Busch Garden Williamsburg's water park. It's located just down the road from it. Uh, got a lot of new stuff and uh, classic stuff, so we're going to go and show you it all. All right, as you enter, you're going to get the Welcome Center, and that is where you can do cabanas, meal deal, rentals, quick queue, and whatnot. And we're going to go more or less around the entire water park clockwise. Beginning with the first attraction, you'll see this before you even get into the park, it's the Colossal Curl. This is one of three family raft rides. So, you know, you sit in the round tube, and uh, this one has like a mini funnel, and then it has that huge quarter pipe. A lot of fun. Uh, probably my third favorite ride in the park. You can see some tube slides right there, but we won't talk about those until pretty much the end of the tour. So, uh, as you walk through, uh, here's where the main eateries are and the uh, gift shop and all that stuff. There are some other places to eat, but this is definitely where the majority of them are. And uh, locker rentals are on the left over there. We also have the uh, dock bar. So a little bar there, right there. Uh, Jimmy O's. So basically, Water Country seem to like mostly 50s stuff. So here's the entire map. Right as we pass through all this, uh, these stores, there is the the wild thing. It is closed today. It is just a tube slide. And then if you look back there, there's also another ride there that's not listed on the map that uh, probably will not run again. So you have Pinkies and uh, the Wipeout Gifts and Apparel. That's changing and w w rental lockers. We'll see how much they are. Here are the sizes. Standard 20, large 25, jumbo 30. So your standard one is what you're going to... Uh, Mostly see when you go to a, a theme park and you want to ride a roller coaster. That's the size of the sandy one. So it's going to fit like a backpack. Where the jumbo is going to fit pretty much everything that you need. As I said, there's not a tube slide down there with the wild thing, but it is close today. So that's about as close as we can get. And then the final place is the Cadillac Diner where you have fries, pizza, and salads. The, the normal park fair. And of course, here is when it gets interesting. Here's their giant wave pool. And it looks like they're building another bar over here. Here's Surfer's Bay, the giant wave pool. Oh, the waves are okay. They're not too crazy. Of course, the deeper you go, the more crazy the waves are. But, uh, yeah, fun for everyone, definitely. Uh, not completely boring. Some wave pools, even if you go to the deepest part of it, just, I don't really uh, care for it. But this one's good. All right, moving on from the wave pool, we're going to head down to I, one of the lowest sections of the water park. Down. Oh, and there's a bar over here. That's fun. All right, to the right of the wave pool is a splash pad that's currently under reconstruction. This pre existed, but I think they're rehabbing it and updating it. Just like, you know, a lot of the slides they've been doing over the last uh, five or so years, I'd say. Looks like you got a little surface splash pad. So, yeah, lots of fun little things. I'm not sure if this is for this year or next year, but. All right, down at the end is Rock and Roll Island. Unfortunately, it's closed right now, but this has uh, four body slides, a small little body slide off to the right, and then there's a Lazy River, and then like uh, net climbing and lily pads, all that type of stuff. It's a lot of fun area. Uh, early in the season, so it's not open yet, and this is the best we'll be able to show it to you, unfortunately. I think it's Here's the second kids area that we show you. It's Calabunga, which you have a bunch of splash pads, and I love the theme with all the cows, and then a tiny little slide here, tube slide. Most of the kids slides are body slides, so that's neat. That's something they probably need in the future, a bunch of those little mini uh, body slides for the kids. And across from the Calabunga is the Chowabunga. That is too good. I, I like that play on words. Nice, gentle little slide. And the good thing about this one is it's a double tube, but the, the hole in the front uh, doesn't have a hole in it. It has a barrier, so the little kids don't fall through the donut. Next up is Nitro Racers. This is a six-lane racing mat slide. Uh, it has like four little dips. Uh, the first one's huge, and they get smaller and smaller as they go. Uh, kind of what 
week for these. Like, you don't get any air time or anything. So, uh, if you're looking for that, unfortunately, you're not going to get that. But uh, another thing I have to say about this park oh. is that I love how much uh, the attractions are blended into the, the forest. And, uh, like, the queue line for this one goes off to the left. Just, like, it feels like you're taking a hike in the forest, more or less. I love it. Uh, they really, really built it around the, the ravines and hills and everything well, without it being too hilly, either. A lot of water parks. It is uh, a concrete jungle. And you need to have artificial shade structures. We're here. A lot of this shade is just uh, provided by the natural trees. Here's an intersection of the park with a bunch of food eateries, launch pad, express cafe, and the uh, cosmic cafe. I love the uh, theming in this park. Pretty dead on. And way more theming than you normally see in a theme park or water park, so that's nice to see. We have three more attractions down this way, so we're going to show you them. Hubba Hub Highway, Vanish Point, and the water coaster. And if you need first aid, it is on the way to Vanish Point. Next up is Vanish Point, which is a series of four slides, and two of them do this vertical drop where you uh, have to do it yourself. You have to lean over the edge and do that plunge. And then the other two are the drop pod slides where you go into this capsule, you have a countdown, and then you uh, the floor lets go and you drop and you can see it does a vertical drop and then goes into these little twisty bits to the left and the right. Next up is the cutback water coaster. Uh, you can see up there the uh, orange and yellow and blue. Uh, it's a water coaster. It uses magnets to propel your raft uphill, and there's a little bit of surprise when you hit the top of the hill. I won't ruin that. And it has a bunch of these saucer turns. Uh, this is easily the best slide in the park. I would I would suggest coming here first, doing it a couple of times, and I would definitely suggest avoiding the front of the park attractions. Uh, maybe get Colossal Curl in one really quickly. You know, you can get here early. That opens 15 minutes early. The rest of the park opens at the posted opening time so you can definitely get that done right away and then come down here and do a bunch of the more popular attractions before other people get down here next up is hubba hubba highway this is their lazy river uh, but you use vests instead of tubes like vests and uh it's very fast moving it's way faster than a lazy river it's not really a lazy river they also have the uh traveler's treats little little bits of things and uh, down here are more cabanas you might have noticed cabanas up at the uh, wave pool they also have these cabanas, which are on this island over here. If you want more to be more private and kind of away from everything, I definitely would say just these ones. If you want uh, some to be right near the action, I would suggest the, probably the wave pool ones. So yeah, surface clothes, loungers, I like and VIP kind of entrance into the. Oh uh, yes, they, yeah, they have their own entrance and exit onto the uh, Easy River or the Hubba Hubba Highway. And to enter the Hubba Hubba Highway is a, kind of like a little uh, splash pad with these uh, geysers and everything and a lot more seating area. So uh, yeah, this is another place that there's no seating available at the wave pool. Check this place out. There's plenty of places all around the park for seating. Don't just check out the wave pool. There's other places. So there's that. I'll give you a look at how fast you go around the uh, Hubba Hubba Highway. Love that name. And here's a look at the Hubba Hubba Highway. Uh, the nice thing is around the, the way, they do have these like billboards, you know, kind of like 50s kind of theming, which, you know, goes in park with the entire park. And uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, that's how fast it moves. It's great. And uh, you, you can stay in, you don't have to get out. You can stay in as long as you want. Uh, it's about a meter deep, about three feet or so. So there it is. And then there's more of those cabanas. There's even more. Uh, back there, they're even more private. Just like Bush Gardens Windsor, they do have all-day dining, which uh, I believe is every 90 minutes. You can get a entree, a side, and a drink. Uh, amazing deal. Uh, usually it's not too expensive. I'm not sure what it is this year, but uh, more than affordable uh, if you don't mind continuously eating all day long and the lines aren't ridiculously long. Okay, we're now back at the Cosmic Cafe, and here is the... Uh, quote unquote new attraction this year. Aquazoid Amped, I can't remember what it's called before, but uh, this is basically just kind of a uh, dr dressing up of their old family raft ride that was in the dark. They added a bunch of music, wasn't present today since we wrote it before it's officially open, so hopefully that actually is present and 
the near future. Uh, then also it has a lot of lighting effects, like uh, these like light bands that go around the entire tube, and then uh, LED lights and everything. It, it, if you get the music going too, it's gonna be like a uh, disco party on water, basically. It's pretty cool. But uh, it's another one of the family raft rides, one of three, as I mentioned. And uh, we'll show you some people coming off of this thing. Here they come. Woo! That was fun. And what I said, what I love about how woodsy this is, is there are huge slides nearby in a normal water park. You'll be able to see every single one of them. Everything's really close together, but with all the tree cover, it's uh, your vision is blocked so nicely and everything's just so lush and oh, it's great. Here's once again another kids area. Uh, H2O UFO, love the name. We have two little water slides over here. Tube slides, it's just like the other ones we saw at Calabunga which has the uh, double tubes, but the front hole doesn't have a hole in it, so the kids don't fall through. And then a little play area here. You have like two slides, a bunch of uh, water features. No bucket though, it seems, that's unfortunate. So uh, there it is. We have a few more slides to show you, and then that's about it here at Water Country. And also, we all know that accidents happen with small children, and there's actually a baby changing center, so you can do it in that area, have a little bit more privacy for your little one, and uh, it's more sanitary for everybody involved. So, there it is. And our final family rap ride is Big Daddy Falls, which again is one of these uh, four to six person uh, this one's fun because it's very gentle. It's all in the woods. Again, I know I've said that a billion times, but it's very nice. And you can see people right here moving very slowly. It's kind of like a lazy river section towards the end before you do these last few little dips. But the beforehand, very, very gentle turns. You get kind of high up on the wall, but not too much. So very accessible of the three uh, family raft rides for sure. And here they are again. Everybody loves it. Kids, adults, everybody loves it. There it is. Okay, we're coming up on our second to last slide complex, Jet Scream, which surprisingly is actually my second favorite attraction here. They're just basic tube slides, but the line moves very quickly because they just keep sending people. And uh, the turns and the dips are actually really wild and uh, out of a control feeling, where this is the older slide. The newer slides, eh, they feel a little bit more in control these days. But, uh, and we were able to ride it with a full line in like 10. Here's Malibu Pipeline. This is a double tube slide, uh, mostly in the dark. The top portion is uh, outside. And then uh, you know, once you get inside, it's really dark, lots of quick little dips and uh, it's exciting. So uh, there it is. Uh, unfortunately today we weren't able to ride it because uh, they're only running one slide. So the, the line was just not moving. And that is it. It's a nice park. Uh, nice modern slides. Only problem is when it gets a little crowded, it's very hard to walk around it. Some of the pathways are pretty narrow, but uh, I love the natural setting of the place though, compared to just having nothing but concrete and shade structures. You have all the trees to do that for you. So uh, if you could provide a number, Ariel, lovely fiance, uh, what would you give this park out of 10? I would agree with that, yes. Definitely How much eight. is it though? I'm this not sure. Ticket. Yeah, yeah. We, worth we it. Just get a membership. Yeah. <laughs> it gets you into uh, a basic membership, I believe, gets you in here and Bush Gardens yeah. for right across the street. So, well, thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coast Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell for instant notifications when more videos just like this come out.